Hello everyone. In this short tutorial, I am going to talk about the AI assistant of Adobe Acrobat. It is recently integrated into billions, if not trillions, of the PDFs on our computers. If you are using Acrobat Reader for reading PDFs, I am going to show you how you can use AI assistant to interact with your PDFs. How you can use AI assistant? So I'm going to test this with my own paper, which published last year. It's a very short one and it's easy. With few clicks, you can get, with actually one click, you can get generative summary of your paper. It's here. It gives you section by section summary of your paper. If you don't like it, you can click on this button here, AI assistant and start interacting asking questions and i am going to exactly show how how it does work so i clicked on ai assistant and it said so it analyzed the paper since it is short it was very fast and right away i can start asking questions so let's ask um, give me very detailed summary of this document so this is my question this is my very short request you can type your own and it says it's generating response it takes a couple of seconds and if it is if the document is a long one and if your request is very broad it, it can take more time but in my case, it was very short since my document is very short and my request also was very short. So here it says document title, Paradox of Voting, Peril, Peril of the Vetoing to the Perpetual Peace, discusses the issue of veto power. That's correct one. The best part here is that it gives you these little numbers here, as you can see. And when you click on it, it shows which section, which parts of the paper was used to generate that very sentence here. And for example, here it's me, it's talking, it's giving information about myself. And here, as you can see, the, the document focuses on the misuse of veto power by permanent members of the Security Council. That's correct. And that's uh, showing me exact section, exact sentence from my own paper that it used, that it analyzed and used to generate this sentence here. This is very, very nice feature, I believe. Sometimes it, of course, can hallucinate because even today's the most developed one, the chat GPT, can hallucinate. The other day I asked about certain sources uh, and it gave me fake sources. All was fake. None of them exists at all. And therefore, it's always wise to check the answer it gives you with the very sentence right? and it's easy to do that because it marks the sentence for you so with this uh, blue line here you can say you can see which which sentence was used to generate this sentence here and this is very nice handy feature another uh, the comfort of using this ai assistant is that you don't need to go to any website to upload your pdf and then start asking questions that and if you are working with hundreds of documents which i am working with that takes huge amount of time and actually i really do not want to do like that and this is basically having a chat gpt level power ai assistant installed automatically for all my pdfs so if you are using adobe acrobat this could be a very nice feature for you as well i think um, I should mention this one as well. If you are using free account, uh, you can get uh, five requests, which you can ask, you can test it. But if you want to do more, you have to pay for this. So I, I joined the monthly subscription of Adobe. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And lastly, I want to give you some practical information about this AI assistant. For now, as you can see here, it works with PDFs, PDF files, which, uh, which are in English and the size must be less than 25 megabyte 
and the file should have fewer than 120 pages so if you have longer pdfs maybe you can split them then you can use this feature like if you have 200 pages you can split them into two parts and then you can use this feature still it's still possible but it should not be more than 120 pages in one document so it shouldn't be scanned or represented so this OCR technology is still not available I believe but I think they will integrate it that soon so these are some practical information I think worth to know as well before using this AI so lastly maybe we can ask which LLM does uh, Adobe uses so they use OpenAI's uh, LLM in this AI assistant in terms of privacy we can we can ask again if Adobe trains its LLMs with our own data so they say no but I would always uh, suggest being a bit careful with sensitive data that you are going to use this AI assistant and I would like also to inform you about our webinar which we conducted together with Professor Leonard Nake and the recording of this webinar now is available uh, in this webinar we cover different methods te uh, techniques tactics using AI tools and ready schemes on prompt engineering as well as we covered 15 different AI tools for different academic purposes with live use cases there I will drop the link in the description you can check that and if you want if you want you, you can also get that as well with this webinar you will have instant access to all of these check the link in the description